Talbot County, Maryland, on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay, is touched by tidal waters, rivers, and creeks, with small towns, historic homes, farmlands, and woodlands. Talbot County has faced many challenges to the health of the bay, such as coastal erosion, stormwater runoff, and uncontrolled growth of invasive plants. Local residents have sought information on ways to become better stewards of the land. At the state level, 25 years ago, Wanda McLaughlin of the University of Maryland's Extension Service addressed that need by creating the Baywise Program which has grown to be an important element of Maryland's Master Gardener program. Statewide, Baywise volunteers provide free consultations to encourage Marylanders to adopt sustainable garden and landscape practices. In 2005, we, the Talbot County Master Gardeners, joined the state's Baywise program. Since then, many of our Master Gardeners have become Baywise trained and certified. Today, we number 29 and spend thousands of volunteer hours to play our part to improve the health of the Bay. In response to an inquiry, our consultations begin with a call. We listen to concerns, do some related online research, then send a team of two to five Baywise volunteers to visit with the new client, tour the property, and provide a packet of materials tailored to the property and the client's concerns. Following the tour, the team collaborates to write recommendations from the Baywise Yardstick, ideas the client is able and motivated to implement. We also share specific steps for them to achieve the 36 inches necessary to become Baywise certified. Then comes the real test. We call the client back in 6 to 12 months and ask how they're coming along. Often they are eager to share their progress with us and they invite us back to certify their landscape and earn their coveted blue Baywise sign. Consultation requests come in from many places, inquiries to our Talbot County Extension Service, and our outreach at farmers markets, festivals, and fairs. We also sponsor free educational workshops and movie showings, activities that get people excited about what they can do. The workshops and movies have drawn large audiences for us, and they expand our reach to potential clients, receptive to learning about beneficial landscape practices. We've developed tools to simplify the consultation process for our volunteers, especially for master gardeners new to the program. We created a Baywise notebook that walks through steps in the process with sample materials. We also developed a series of brochures with beautiful photos of native plant ideas that work well in our area. Clients learn even more when our volunteers share their own experiences with these plants. We have conducted hundreds of consultations and certified 145 properties in the county. 130 are residential and 15 are commercial, including churches, museums, and nature centers. We want to share with you three Baywise best practices, especially suitable for the yards and landscapes in our county. These are protect the waterfront, manage stormwater runoff, and plant wisely. Few other Maryland counties have 600 miles of coastline that supports native and migrating wildlife. We counsel clients to protect this fragile resource. We encourage waterfront residents to plant native grasses and shrubs with extensive root systems that hold the shore together. These plants feed and shelter an astounding array of creatures, waterfowl, turtles, birds, and pollinators. We encourage our clients to be realistic in project scope and take small steps to improve critical ecosystems and coastal habitats. The result, strong living shorelines and resilient ecosystems alive with the red of cardinal flowers, the yellow of golden alexanders, and the purple of asters. With our proximity to the bay, we encourage residents to control stormwater runoff. In heavy rains, stormwater flows across most Talbot County yards into a stream, drainage ditch, or storm drain. Stormwater carries with it soil, fertilizer, and pesticides that harm water quality and habitats. 
During our Baywise consultations, we suggest ways to manage stormwater runoff by capturing the water, slowing it down, and helping it to soak in. One attractive solution is to install a rain garden to capture stormwater from roofs, walkways, and other impervious surfaces. Baywise certified properties have traded flooded lawn areas for beneficial native plantings in strategically placed rain gardens. Some have devised clever and artful ways to direct excess stormwater to planted areas, encouraging infiltration rather than runoff, like this otherwise dry stream bed. As you can see, such gardens offer good-looking solutions to stormwater problems while adding to biodiversity in the neighborhood. By planting wisely, we can transform an area into a more sustainable landscape. We counsel our neighbors to plant native plants and to replace problem plants with native alternatives. We encourage clients to replace high-maintenance lawns with native landscapes. This not only reduces fertilizer use and pesticide-laden runoff, but also provides better habitat for wildlife and improves food sources for birds and pollinators. Areas where grass doesn't grow well can be transformed into native garden beds with flowers blooming over many months. Just think, color throughout the summer. Even septic fields, and we have our share, can support native gardens filled with perennials and shrubs. In addition to engaging residents in Baywise best practices, Talbot County's Baywise program also sets an example. We love working with community partners to install and maintain native plant gardens in highly visible public areas. These gardens make terrific teaching tools and demonstrate techniques residents can adopt. Rain gardens at the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum and the Oxford Community Center capture stormwater so it can soak in. The native plants provide wildlife habitat and delight visitors. We even have a demonstration garden on Poplar Island, a 1,000-acre federal and state restoration project located off our coast in the Chesapeake Bay and accessible only by boat. Our garden, which is the reception point for visitors, demonstrates solutions for challenging growing conditions. We also partner on projects to remove invasive plants that choke out native plants and damage trees and shrubs. As part of these work days, not only do we improve the quality of the habitat, but we also teach members of the community to identify and manage problem plants. Over the last 15 years, Talbot County Baywise certified master gardeners are proud to have helped neighbors learn about sustainable gardening practices and become smarter stewards of the land. As Baywise volunteers, we are also proud to have put our knowledge to good use in our own yards. Working together, all of us in the Talbot County Baywise program hope to do even more in the years ahead to help protect our very important national treasure, the beautiful Chesapeake Bay. We invite everyone to join the effort. Certified properties can indeed proclaim Bay Wise.